them. Um, the adults are here too. Look, down there. There they're sitting. So there's our little fluffy wonder from yesterday, Ntima. And there are some adults who look filthy, as you can see. Look at that. That one doesn't look particularly clean. Massive bellies. Oh, Ellie's going to be so sad. Ellie's going to have to come here later on. Now, it's quite difficult to try and go maneuvering through, so I think we'll just have to hang tight and hold this position for now. They're sitting in the shade. And I don't really know if we're going to have too much time to move around, and I also don't want to startle them too much. So we need to try and come and do just a little bit of clearing around here just to make it easier to gain entrance to this den and also we don't want to make too much noise we want to come in as quietly as we can there's two, the little one having a bit of fun finally someone that wants to come and play with me now you be careful because you've got very sharp chompers don't bite too sore and this is the only thing is that they never control themselves but look how excited this little one is hello I don't know if this is mom, so all of you that are watching, you're welcome to please give me as much information on these hyenas as possible as to who you think they are, and who, well, who's who in the zoo, but look at it, oh, they are so precious, these creatures, so even something that is not necessarily appealing to everyone's eyes, and I think hyenas are beautiful, and some of you may disagree with me, but how sweet is that, to see a young hyena cub playing about, just being all nice and social. This is so great. Look at it, like an excited puppy. Like, you know, you've gone away from the weekend and your dogs haven't seen you for a long time. That's exactly what's going on now. I've missed you so much. Thank goodness you're home. That little funny thing. Oh, look, my friend Taylor's here. <laughs> yes, little one, now you can come and play, bracing off. It's the Usain Bolt of hyenas. Barbara, you said it's so nice to have the hyenas back. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. We're actually going to have to tell Ali. Megan, please tell Ali that she must just come here anyway so she can have a look at them, even if it is after drive, because I know she's been dying to see these fluffy, or well, to see the, all of them together. I wonder where our little one is. It could just be around the corner. Maybe it's been suckling or having... Or having a siesta now. I don't know how long the adults have been back for. We did see them walk past with Ali at one point earlier this morning, but they didn't seem to move off. Oh, this is so cool. Any information coming through, Megan, about the hyenas? Or is it fairly quiet? Everyone's just happy to see them. Ah, okay, so it seems as though Chris rogue who is very very good with the hyenas and identifying them and i know there are a whole lot of you i don't know if she's maybe watching but i'm sure she'll be excited to know and go back and watch this drive and she'll be able to help us but if anyone else is watching that is better than i am at telling which hyena is who you're welcome to go for it hello my little friend i love this hyena so much it's so cute it's just you won't be able to see it it's right here at my ties now i'm having many mechanical problems with rusty Please do not create anything more for me, like chewing on my pipes or on my tires. It's right here. Let me see. I don't think you can see it. No. Okay, there it goes again. Speed races off. <laughs> it's so excited. I don't know if I've ever actually seen a young hyena cub this excited about life before. So this is such a, an amazing experience. Here we go, being reprimanded, saying you're getting too rough now by one of the others, not as tolerant. Lord, you've said that hyenas are your favorite. They are, they're my second favorite animal to elephants. Elephants are still the, the winners, but you can clearly see why hyenas grow on you. Look at it. I'm going to push you and shove, and somebody needs to play with me. I've got all this energy. Perhaps, hyena, if you want to welcome me and invite me into your home, I'll happily come and sit there with you and play with you. I'll chase you around. I'll throw sticks for you. It's not a dog, of course. I wish I could do all these things. But see, look, coming back to say hello again. You are so curious, aren't you? You are a beautiful little, little one. You know, coming right up to the car again. I'm just going to duck out of the way. This is my shoulder, just so that I don't ruin the view. No, it's just here by my tires. I'm actually going to stick my head out because I want to see where it is. So I apologize. What are you doing? Excuse me, 
What did you just touch? It touched the car. Naughty hyena, that. I don't know what it, what it touched in front. I mean, it definitely had a smell of something, and then it gave itself a fright and then ran all the way back around again. I just heard a slight, like a like, ticking noise. Look there, it knows. And I think that they'll relax here for most of the day. They've obviously had a fantastic feed. Feeding on an impala will be great. I mean, hyenas specialize on eating the leftovers normally, so they don't often get to get the big bits of um, meat that you will get from a, an entire carcass. You know, they just crunch on the bones and eat the skin and the leftovers. Not necessarily the most palatable bit. But blah, 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 blah. Most palatable bits. My goodness, I'm so excited. Um, <clears throat> So, for them to have a big meal like that, I can imagine whew, full bellies, eyes closed, and they'll spend most of the day in the shed. Little one, you're having a suckle. Are you trying to? Sierra, you said that they're filled with beans. To the R indeed, especially this little one, yes. I think that's obviously mom sitting down next to it, just having a suckle. So, if this isn't Tima, then that must be Ribbon over there laying in the long grass because I you know, wouldn't suckle from anyone else but its own mother. The other mothers wouldn't be as tolerant. It's not like what we sort of see with them, um, with lions where they will allo suckle. Just having a rest now. Now the little one has run out of energy. I think it just put on that show for us. Perhaps it was excited to say, hey, look, have you met my new friend Taylor? She was here yesterday and we had a great time with her. And I know, you know, I wonder if that's what this little one is thinking. It's what I like to think. But soon it is also a very, a very full belly and it will join in from the siestas that the adults are having. But it's been a fantastic drive once again out here in the Sabi Sands. Everything's coming back together again. Winter is here, my favorite time of the year. All the animals are back. Hopefully we'll get some lions over the next few days. But don't disappear because you've only got a Hello couple of hours.